So here with USB, uh, what are you showing here? So we have a Lenovo laptop, which has uh, USB power delivery and USB Type-C, obviously, in installed in it. Connected to a Huawei Mate 2 dock, which has a USB drive attached to it, display coming out, and power coming in. Okay? And you can see right now, the laptop is being charged. We're running uh, this, this drive in about 200 second. Okay. Right. And we have the screen running over. So that means you're not losing any power? No, I'm actually charging. You're not losing any speed? No, no. Well, it's, it's a normal speed. There's nothing special about it. It's just the fact that what we're doing here is we're able to connect everything over USB Type-C. And we're charging the thing, right? Now, so is it, is it just a regular Type-C dock or something it looks, special about the dock? There is something special about the dock. Now, normally when you pull power from a dock, what do you expect to happen? Everything drops. The, the drive drops, the display drops, and then you might see everything get re-enumerated, right? So, yeah. so uh, usually when you connect... When you, when you, when you, dis when you, usually when you dis disconnect the power, you will see that the drive will drop, the monitor will stop working, and then maybe, you know, you get re-enumeration, and then it's like the drive comes back, and then the monitor starts working again. So you take the power out. So we'll do it right now. Yeah? So it's just continuing? We're continuing. It's dropped down a little bit in performance. We're continuing to work. The monitor is still running. Why did they drop the performance? Because the CPU is now running off of battery power. The yeah. CPU has oh. dropped its performance. So it has an automatic battery power mode. Battery power, yeah. But yeah. what has happened is now, you can see here, you can see now there's no charge. It's one of the first. It's being charged. It's not charging anymore. It's actually going to power. Oh, they're going to teach my name. To this. To the, to the dock. No need to yes. provide power to this. Not the monitor, but the dock yeah. and the drive. Is it a standard? Every dock knows how to do this? It's a standard. It's there. It's baked into the standard right now. It's called FRS, Fast Roll Swap. Every dock doesn't have it, but it is something that is coming out. Now. Is only the new ones have it? The new ones will have it going forward. Is many new or only very few so far? Initial, very few right now. Very yeah. few right now. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. does this also mean that... Uh, because one thing I'm wondering is about the, the speed over here. Is it a full USB spec speed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's, no, there's no degradation in the speed or performance. It's, it's just a question of being able to seamlessly continue working when you remove external power. And uh, uh, let's say I have right here uh, this one. Right? Oh, they got a, uh, like a scan. And, uh, let's say we connect this to that, right? Uh, it's just gonna. This is an iPad, the latest iPad with Type C. It just clones the screen over. But how about the speed of the data coming back? Is it gonna be full spec of USB or can or lose its stuff because of the display? No, it doesn't lose any stuff because of the display. No, I mean nothing. If, if, it depends on how you partition the display data versus uh, USB data. If you do four lanes of, you know, if you're doing this is 1080p. 1080p? 1080p. So you can run full 1080p and USB 3 at the same time without losing any data. Nothing. Nothing. If you do 4K, you might do something? If you do 4K, 60 hertz, you could go down to a lower speed of USB. So what, how, how, do you, how does that happen? It depends on how you how you go in and uh, um, the, the, the manufacturer of the of the laptop or the dock, or the, I mean the laptop or the tablet, the OS vendor is the one who makes the decision how he wants to partition the, the data bandwidth between display and uh, USB. Uh, at, at, in the other video, there was a lab, HP lab dock with a Samsung, I think, right? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, Huawei, maybe? Yeah, yeah. no, Sam Samsung, Samsung. Samsung? Yeah. Uh, does that lab dock, which is already two years old or three, have the full bandwidth coming back, or it might have less? It has does the it same... Go to USB 2, maybe? It goes to USB 2 because that's what it is built. Because it's, it's, it's not because of the laptop, yeah. but because the phone only does USB 2 and display. Ah, the phone. The phone so the Samsung, maybe the Samsung, maybe not the S10, but the S9. No, no. It can support USB 3, but in that particular mode, it does USB 2 and display. How about the S10? Do you know? I don't know. You don't know. But possibly they have uh, an, a better phone that does 
no, USB I mean, 3. The USB 3, it's the phone is capable of doing USB 3 already. The, the phone, 3. USB by 3. Itself. By itself, yes. But, uh, the when, they go, one, when they go, when they go down to 2. Yes, but when they go in that mode, yeah. in that mode, they go to how USB how 2. How about the Same thing. Oh, when it, if, goes down to USB 2. The, the, uh, the Qualcomm processor in there, the 845 yeah. has a USB 3 built in, so there's no need. It doesn't have. It's a. It's a. It's an implementation choice as to what to support on the connector. But the Snapdragon 845, 855, All support. And, uh, and the Kirin 980. I'm not sure. The, I do not know the yeah, Kirin 980, but, but I'm sure. Uh, especially the Snapdragon, they do USB 3 and 4K display at the same time. They can. They can. They can. So it's just a choice of. Uh, it's a choice of the manufacturer if that's something that they want to support. All right. I was excited. Cool. All right. So this is uh, it's, it's very nice that the latest iPad is just using a USB. Solid one. When they did that, it was like a party in the office, right? 